I think that we're all poor at cross-cultural communications, especially in a world that's increasingly divided into polarized sides. We try to be transparent, explain our values with compassion, and listen patiently to our counterparts, even when we feel they are disingenuous. Yet, the same communication patterns occur and reoccur, and the results always seem to come up short. But what was the other side thinking? And did we misinterpret their intentions from the beginning? I'm Jin Chu, author of The Chinese Honeymoon Period and host of the China Myth Podcast. In this season, we're going to analyze 12 Chinese cultural concepts with other seasoned professionals of Chinese language and culture, so you can begin to develop a healthy foundation for understanding how Chinese people think, why they behave the way they do, and how to create new communication patterns that lead to more constructive collaboration. In other words, you'll learn the deeper nuances of developing Guan Xi and all its implications. And this is where our conversation begins with Guan Xi, which is how they operate. We continue by examining the Chinese concepts of Li Yi and Wei Chu, which represents what they consider and how they feel. After all, how can you be empathetic if you don't know how someone else feels? We'll explore Chinese gray areas and the yin and yang of Chinese psychology and their thinking, or xiangfa. We will discuss both giving face and preserving face within the Chinese cultural context, and we'll wrap things up with art of war tactics that Chinese employ subconsciously even when they've never studied the art of war. Oh, and you might think that Chinese today no longer have an iron rice bowl mentality or tie fan wan. So we'll also demonstrate where and how these undercurrents still manifest in everyday decision making. And when your journey is completed, you'll have a solid foundation to improve how you communicate with your Chinese counterparts. So subscribe wherever you listen to your favorite podcast and prepare yourself for a more rewarding journey into China.